on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Okay, first, yes, this is the different one that not even the members know about. In which, let's start with some background. Right now, everything that happened in canon still happens so far, up to directly after the Switchfield incident. What actually happens is Izuku gets scolded, like usual. Only thing is, he snaps back, yelling at them for not having the balls to actually try to save Koski. Even Koski is. Wait, is it, are you serious? That's why you're upset? Yes! You could have easily been able to save us and all my wouldn't have had to interfere going on and on and on until he realizes, yeah, he's still... There's still news cameras, so... Not only did people see his little act of heroism as well as all my sh saving them, everyone also see him pretty much tear those pro heroes a new asshole. So yeah, fear of retaliation, he r runs like hell. So All Might doesn't catch up to him, due to him already pushing his time out, as well as Bogo, he doesn't, you know, does his little, I didn't need your help, BS and whatnot. But this is about the time when Izuku, he finds himself in the middle of the woods. He was so busy with getting away, he didn't really consider, like, wait, where was I going next? As he starts to backtrack. But just then he hears a voice. It's calling to him for some reason. He doesn't recognize it. He turns his head, saying no one's there, but he does see a faint glow. Uh, part of me's thinking not to, not to trust it, but for some reason, him just going closer and closer towards the light, which he actually sees a, a rock. I am not a rock, boy. I'm sorry, wait, wait, then who, I mean, what are you? That is irrelevant. First things first. Do you want to be a hero? Yes. Do you want power? Yes. Then we may be able to help each other. Is Izuku's how can a rock help me? I'm not a rock. I, I'm sorry. Either way. Pick me up. Why? Just do it. So he does. He feels a surge of it. He just flows right throughout his body. and Whoa, what is that? I'm giving you some of my power. Okay, who are you? Hmm. Very well. I'm Mjolnir. Well, Mjol what near? Mjolnir. Thor's hammer. At least I was until I was destroyed. Wait, now how are you talking to me? Because I am still sentient. I am the largest of those that have been scattered around across the other nine realms. Then again, there could be more. 
after what happened at Ragnarok. Wait, what? <clears throat> don't, don't worry about it. <sighs> One thing's for sure. I can... I can feel your pain. I understand how it feels to be powerless. Believe me. Before, Thor was known as a brutish, rude-ass, giant-hating... <coughs> Either way. He was not the best person. But when he obtained me, something to help control, or at very least enhance his abilities, he became worse in his hatred for giants. If anything, I was surprised, considering he actually fathered children of. Oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter right now. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so, care to explain more about yourself? Alright. You think we're getting the whole thing where, yeah, Loki pretty much like, heck, I'll give you my head if you can do this and that. Try making just making a deal with the dwarves. So yeah, oh 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 dear. So Loki tried to sabotage them. Oh no, he did. One thing is, he didn't expect their work to be such. You know, right? These dwarves sound amazing. They are. Who knows? Maybe there are a few still around somewhere. Maybe once we get the Bifrost thing on the bridge activated, you could visit there. What? So, what you're saying is. Hmm. Yeah. Izuku's eyes, like, but wait, I got, I have an exam. Uh, yes, uh, Hero Academy, right, UA, to be precise. Yeah, I don't have a quirk, though. Oh. Dear boy, you don't need a quirk. Not anymore. I'm here, and with my power, <laughs> trust me, really, yes, you will be more than capable of becoming a hero, there's no doubt in my mind. So, what first? Well, I've given you a taste of it, but for you to be fully, you could say, uh, endowed with this power, you have to not only train with it, but absorb more of me. Does not hurt you? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Once I've been fully integrated into your system, or at least the power I hold, the more you have, the less sentient and the less power I have. Even my abilities are finite. Oh. I, um... Sorry, uh, don't apologize. It wasn't your fault. 
well, at the very least, we must prepare. So, when is this entrance exam? Go uh, around ten months. I uh, good. That should be plenty of time for you to get more fine tuned to the power. Hmm. I say maybe five years. What? <laughs> Calm down. Not five years in this time. Five years in a whole new, at least more harsh realm. It proved to be more fruitful on your development. How we do that? And then the lightning bolt just shoots down from the sky and zaps Izuku. Him teleporting to God knows where. What just happened? Welcome to Yggdrasil. What? The world tree boy. As you can see, this is more like a central hub for the other worlds. Where we came from was Midgard. In which, you know, you, <laughs> you originate from. The only thing is, uh, our... Mm, we don't have many options when it comes to travel what why <sighs> you see when the world serpent and that blubbering idiot fought they they damaged the world tree you could say now that point where it's inoperational far from it from what I can see there are a few more branches. Hmm. Oh, actually, those worlds could prove very useful in your training, but not yet. Wait, but, well, so where am I going to train? Well, first things first, you need to build up more muscle. So we're going to need a harsh environment in which you need to adapt a bigger, stronger body. Is this going to hurt? Oh, yes, very much so. Uh, what? Oh, did you expect me to lie to you? Maybe a little... <laughs> Oh no, no, I, I couldn't do that. But, if anything. Oh, wait, 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 I can't go out training for five years. I can't. It would be ten months. Uh, either way, I can't, I can't leave without telling my mom. Right, right, I completely, uh, huh. forgot about that, you do have, uh, you do have someone who would, uh, miss you, if you were to leave, don't you? Well, yes. <laughs> They only just getting lightning back to Midgard and Hiku tells Inko yeah, he's gonna be gone for a while. Inko being Inko, she already is like, where are you going? 
She wants explanation. She wants to know when you're going to be back, how long you're going to be gone, and all that. Not laying up on any other questions. But Izuku was just... Uh, um, okay, I'm going out into the wilderness to train where... Um, don't worry about it. Too late. I'm worried. Explain, please. Madam. Who said that? You all know just... I want your son to become a great hero, in which he can become, but only through my guidance. You... You've done well in raising him, but now it's time to loosen the reins a little bit and allow him to grow up. Just a smidge, don't you think? Uh, well, but... Uh, Ma'am? Uh, 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 is there something wrong? Talking wrong! Uh, I am not... Calm down on there. Right. I cannot blame her for not knowing. But, uh, you've made the same mistake as well. Hmm. Okay, I'm calm now. Either way, Miss Midoriya, I can assure you that your son is going to be in safe hands. Whose hands? Mine. You don't have hands. You're a rock. Shall we go? When are you going to come back? Ten months. Please come back. I will, Mom. I promise. Lightning strikes, and they are gone. Inko trying to hold back her tears, but she causes a, a little flood damage. <sighs> that was not easy for me to just, just leave like that. It was necessary. Now, first things first, you're going to need to get used to using lightning. What? Well, Thor was the god of thunder. Of course, you would inherit those abilities through me bestowing them upon you. It's just... What? I can't believe this is actually happening. I understand. But know this. I chose you because I saw you as worthy. The world could... Be engulfed in darkness, and it would need someone to light the way out of it. That is why you are here. But what about the other pieces of you? They aren't like me. I'm the only one that has sentience. I can't even... Conversate with them. What? So you're saying the other pieces of you. Yes. They aren't sentient. Worst of all, there is no enchantment stopping them from. What? Like I said, I chose you. They can't. Oh yes, I do have a fair amount of power. Too many people having too many shards of me could prove to be very problematic. 
anything from huh, the blunt end of the hammer to the grip is in uh, has been highly drenched in Thor's power. So right now you're you're strong the strongest as long as they stay separate well yes but that's we're just baking on the hope that no one finds a shard this power that I've given you will be uh, kind of like a what the smallest shard could do. Let's say it's the size of a grain of rice. Focus your hand. Feel the power and point. Where? Just anywhere. Um, okay. He's like you're doing as he's told, and a huge light, surge of lighting goes straight to the next room. Uh, wait, that's what a shark can do? One of the weak ones, yes. How much power am I going to gain if I absorb all of you? You would dominate the others. As long as no one clicks more than what I am. <sighs> so, this is more serious than, than I thought. I mean, yeah, being a hero is one thing, but I need to collect these shards too, don't I? It's an, it would be impossible to know unless you become fine-tuned to recognizing it to the point where you can actually sense it. I... I used up a lot of my power just to stay the way I am as well as to call out to you. Talking drains energy but I have to do it I can give you more power but you need to be prepared for what may come when you need it you are going to have to become the new god of thunder and all things considered You should also consider the fact that someone might already have one. As this is pretty much Izuku's little wake up call to how, yeah, he needs to get trained up fast. So he learns how to use these powers, the better. So he gets those shards, the definite better. Whether he absorbs them or not, is up to him. Even if he wants to, uh, he could be terrified of what kind of carnage he could inflict if not careful. And, yes, this is pretty much Izuku's training day. His first lesson is learning how to use lightning. Him pretty much using it as an enhancement more than an offensive attack. Strengthening his muscles, his bones, all the like. To the point where he can actually flash step. He just needs to work on his directionary skills. Yonir is a strict teacher. But at the very least he knows that yeah this kid he never... 
had to worry about a quirk. He never had one before. So I'll cut him some slack in that case. But thanks to Izuku's analytical mind, the way he sees things, the way he thinks of several scenarios in which how this power could be used, how it could be used for good, evil, all that like, he's a quick learner. Okay, so now what? Next, <clears throat> you're going to another realm. But I thought you said, oh, I know what I said. You're going to fix this place first. What? Of course. If you don't, you'll be stuck here. Or Midgard. And whoever has a shard could easily find more or overpower you if need be. You're serious. Is a heart attack. So Izuku gets to work. I just say they enhance strength, speed, as well as flash stab. Yeah, that's that makes it light work of it. All the construction. He does have to look up some other things in which, like, okay, I'm gonna need glue, I'm gonna need duct tape, nails, and whatnot. Only thing is, it doesn't really work except for the glue and duct tape. Because of the nails, yeah, that that metal is very difficult to penetrate. So he has to constantly find more, duct tape, more glue before things uh, get too uh, serious. Too bad for him, he doesn't know any dwarves. But... At the very least, he can go to one place that he's opened up. Okay, so now what? Hmm. All I can say is pick a destination. <sighs> There's only one other destination besides Midgard here. Come on. Are you prepared? Yes. Are you ready to kill? Wait, you didn't say anything about... <sighs> Listen. I understand you have your reservations on taking life, but sometimes it is necessary. What are you going to do when you come across someone who has collected enough shards to rival your power? You can't afford to just to let them go off with a warning. Your prisons can't hold them. But to kill some, you may have no choice. Depending on how many shards they collected they may already have a way here depending on how smart they are they may already know about the other pieces they could know about you they can know about me though yes I may be able to overpower them for a moment if they have too much control I may actually succumb to their will So, I may have no choice. I'm sorry. Alright, send me. As Izuku is sent to a pretty much large forest esque area to the point where he can't see no civilization, only mountains, trees, as well as the sky. So, he's. Well, I I asked for this, but uh, hopefully I don't die here. Oh, yes, this will do quite nicely. 
As in, you hear that? Sounds like whimpering. You see, go running, and he sees. Is that a puppy? Stay away from that. What? Don't, don't touch it. But it's hurt. No, it's not. What's your problem? It's a ward. A what? That's a wolf puppy, at least. You understand. Wards are very dangerous. They can grow large enough to dwarf a man. Come on, you're being ridiculous. Ridiculous! I've seen it! I've seen warriors ride them like my steeds to battle before. Hell, I've killed several adults. Trust me, you do not want to be associated with that. Well, maybe they can be good? Can you at least make sure that it's alone? If it is, perhaps we can have a chat about it. If it's not, we leave or you slaughter everyone, including the pup. But I promise. No one's here. How do you know? Um. I used my lightning to find any electrical interference that would be caused by anyone else's biological electricity. What? I used lightning to pick up on other people's lightning based electricity, you know, bioelectricity. I, I, I thought I told you about this. <sighs> Alright, let's talk about it. The puppy. First things first. When it comes to dealing with one, you have to be cautious. It's just a puppy. What's the worst it could be? Rip off your hand. When it comes to wolves in general, they are they won't give you the kindness of killing you then eating you. They will eat you alive as you are torn to pieces. And that is no exception. So if you're going to keep it, if you are going to try your best to train it, I would suggest that you really think about the situation that you are in. This thing will allow you to... Wait. Let, let me see its eyes. We're going to have to raise it a little bit more if you want that. Ah. Why? Why do you want to see his eyes anyway? Just, I want to. No real reason. Izuku picking up the ward pup and walking it off. Yonir is upset. But. Uh, I hope my suspicions are right. As then a month passes and Izuku's had to find other ways to, you know, feed the puppy. Pretty much via other animal milk and possibly just to uh, pray and hope that this thing doesn't die. As it gets bigger, Izuku's noticing, wow, you're growing up fast. But Emerald or Jade, wait. 
Huh. His eyes are almost like mine. What? Explain. Well, just look. I... You're right. Interesting. Hmm. It's... Wait. This could be it. What? Well, uh... Not to really worry you or anything. It's just that... There are some wards that... Have been able to travel to and from realms every now and again. What? Y yes, it's ability that some of them may carry. You know. And, and you thought it was to wait to tell me this? What if you ran off and I got worried and I would have told you not to worry about it and uh, possibly to sack up. <sighs> Dumb rock. What? His lighting just starts to spark. He's like, oh, I can do that too. <laughs> uh, I must say, you've grown out of these past four months. <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess I have. Whatever. <sighs> so, still got four years and, uh, what, eight more months before we go back? Yes. While we look for someone to help us rebuild the Bifrost and Rainbow Bridge, I'm pretty sure we can find some willing participants somewhere. But wouldn't it be very difficult considering the metal composition and. Oh, believe me, there's always someone. It may not be a dwarf, but maybe someone who knows of the old ways. Is yes, he's a guru with his new puppy, and we on there they go out searching for anyone, at least with an eye for architecture and a willingness to actually want to fix the Bifrost and the Rainbow Bridge. It's not easy. They're in the wilderness, so for one, Izuku has not really had much for showers, may just bathing in rivers. The puppy is getting bigger <laughs> every day, and Mjolnir is slowly losing more and more sentience. Last time, he's given Izuku more the power to the point where eh, it's not great it's, it's not the equivalent of a fragment of it's more like the whole I could say a plum or at the very least a cherry but Izuku has gotten a lot more powerful one thing is, he does actually you get embarrassed to the point where he does accidentally cause a thunderstorm or whatnot. The ward not liking it, I'm pretty much barking. Wherever he's, he's like, I'm sorry. The owner laughing his ass off, just showing his intelligence starts to waver the longer this goes on. But. If anything, Izuku's got a lot more confidence when it comes to combat, killing. He's fought some trolls. But. And he, he tried to kill him first, so he. We only made it so Izuku's not nearly as guilty as he would be before. 
or anything. Self-defense. If you just are on the die, that's just because you were stronger and you were the weak link. Yeah, that's a good philosophy, I guess. But it's really you could approach on a town and I notice something off. Buildings have been destroyed, people dead, boats being lit aflame. What's going on here?